Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. In today's video, we're going to talk about dandra and dry skin. The root causes are curses for disobedience. So um, this morning, the Lord had me up, you know, from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m., just downloading things in my spirit. He specifically had me reading Acts chapter 9, where it talks about Saul's conversion, right? And as you read Acts chapter 9, um, because Saul was disobedient, you know, uh, this New Testament Saul, he was disobedient. He was persecuting God's children, which also mean he was persecuting God. And as a result of him persecuting God's children, he brought cur a curse upon his life. Right. And when you read Acts chapter nine, the curse um, came in a form of blindness. Right. And towards the end, let me see if I can find it. Um, Acts chapter nine, verse 18, it say, immediately something like scales fell from Saul's eyes and he could see again. So the Lord blinded Saul. Um, he blinded him because he was persecuting God's children. Right. And then while he was blinded for those three days, the Lord, um, gave Ananias a vision telling him to go and pray over Saul, um, you know, so that he could receive his sight again. And that's what Ananias did. He went to Saul, he prayed over him. And when he prayed over him, um, it says immediately something like scales fell from Saul's eyes and he could see again. So I said this to a client a couple of years ago. But the world called blindness, I mean, they call they call it, they label it blindness, right? But really in the spiritual world, it scales, okay? That's the real reason why, you know, people are losing their sight or whatever. It scales over your eyes because of disobedience, right? And so I began to look up, uh, I just began to do a little study, right? And so scales, when you look it up, when you look up the definition for scale, one of the definitions for scale means a thick, dry flake of skin. It means a thick, dry flake of skin. And when you look at the synonyms for um, scale, um, it's dandruff, right? Or flake, right? And so as soon as I, 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 I seen this, I was like, wow, wait a minute. I said, so what I hear is curses, right? When you go over to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, and when you read up under curses for disobedience, okay, let's read um, Deuteronomy chapter 28. Let's start at verse 20. Now, I'm I'm going to read from the easy, um, easy to read version of the Bible, okay? But Deuteronomy 28 verse 20, it say, if you do evil things and you turn away from the Lord, he will curse you. So the, this curse is coming from the Lord because you're doing evil things. It goes on to say, he will confuse your thoughts in everything that you do. So confusion of the mind is a curse. He will turn against you so that you quickly come to an end. Verse 21, the Lord will make you very ill so that you do not get better again. That's how you know you're dealing with a curse. Whenever you go to the doctor and they have no cure for whatever it is, you know, the reason why you're there. This is how you know the root cause is something spiritual. Everything is spiritual before it's physical. Just like when 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 you become blind. Well, in the physical, first it was scales. It was a curse. Right. And then in the physical, the manifestation of that blind of, of the scales and in the curse is is blindness. Right. And so going back to Deuteronomy 28, verse 21, it said, the Lord will make you very ill so that you do not get better again. He will completely remove you from the land that you are now going into. Verse 22, the Lord will give you many kinds of disease. Your bodies will become weak and very hot. They will grow big and have a lot of pain, okay? And he just goes on and on and on talking about, you know, just the curses you're going to reap for your disobedience. So understand, okay, um, dandruff, dry skin on hands or feet, the root cause is... This is a curse for disobedience. Now, this disobedience could have been on your part 
or you could inherit this from your ancestors. This could be in your bloodline, right? Something you just inherit, you know, because someone in your family bloodline, you know, opened up the door to um, sin. They opened up the door to this curse and they never repented for it. And as a result of them not repenting for it, now you see this curse still speaking. It's still playing out in your family bloodline because now you are dealing with dandruff or now you are dealing with dry skin on hands or feet. Okay. So I wanted to just um, bring some awareness to this, the root cause of dandruff and dry skin. This is a curse for disobedience. And to break this curse, you have to fast. You have to uh, repent uh, for your for your uh, ancestors' sins and for the sins you have committed. I have a whole teaching on breaking generational curses. You can watch that to learn exactly how you break free of this curse, okay? So with that, I am Tequila Cone, and I'll talk to you real soon. Take care.